So if you're about to move to Finland or just visiting the country for your holiday, there are many things that you need to know about everyday life in this country. So in this video, I will share with you five small but still important things about everyday life in Finland that will make your life in this country just a bit smoother. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Oliver here and also welcome to Kalasatama, a new district here in Helsinki which is being built right on the seafront. Uh, Kalasatama is a wonderful place and they actually have student buildings here being built not far from where I am right now. Anyways, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing that you need to know about day-to-day -day life in Finland is that cash is used less and less and it has been rapidly replaced by debit and credit cards as well as contactless payment methods methods using for example your phone, smartwatch or a similar device. So this change has been accelerated even more by the recent pandemic as many stores and restaurants ask their customers to prefer cashless payments for hygiene reasons. Having said this, some places actually no longer accept cash at all as a payment method and this is actually becoming more and more common as time goes by. So to give you just one example of such a case, some of the student campus restaurants in the capital region have already been cashless cashless for a while now and the only ways to pay in many of these campus cafeterias are by card or by contactless payment services like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Mobile Pay or something similar. So talking of which, do note that many international payment cards and most contactless payment services like Venmo do not work in Finland and not using a payment card or a service provided by a bank operating in Finland can sometimes restrict your payment methods. So this actually happens to be one of the reasons why I personally recommend that if you are staying in Finland for longer than one year you should definitely consider getting a Finnish bank account and a local debit or credit card. Getting a local bank account will allow you to use local payment services which in turn will make your day-to-day -day life much much easier. Anyways the next thing that you should know about day-to-day -day life in Finland is that alcohol and alcoholic beverages are only sold between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. The age limit for for buying alcoholic drinks is generally 18 years but drinks above 22% alcohol content are restricted to those above 20 years old. Please also note that every store selling alcohol is required to ask for an ID from anyone looking under 30 years old. So if you know that you will be buying alcohol when visiting a store, please have with you an official ID to prove your age. Oh and by the way, if you're going out with friends, some of whom are under age or under the age limit of 20 and the store clerk and or manager suspects that you are buying any age limited products to be consumed by those not of the age, they are actually allowed to deny service, so just keep that in mind. In addition, it's also important to keep in mind that grocery and convenience stores are only allowed to sell alcoholic beverages that have at maximum 5.5 alcohol content. All other alcohol products are sold by the government-owned company called Alco, which has a national monopoly in strong alcoholic beverages. While there are some few mid-strong beers and light wines that are sold in some well-supplied grocery stores, the current rules basically mean that if you want to buy a bottle of proper wine or anything stronger you need to visit an Alco store. However what makes this even more confusing is that Alco stores are open only during weekdays and Saturdays so if you want to buy a bottle of wine or a whiskey for example on Sunday you are out of luck. One thing also to note is that all of these rules come from the Finnish tobacco and alcohol laws which are some of the strictest in all of Europe. So just take this into account when coming to Finland as buying alcohol anywhere outside restaurants is pretty much impossible after 9 p.m. So talking about living in Finland, if your plan is to come and do your university studies specifically here in the Finnish capital region, I really recommend that you check out the apartments from today's sponsor, which is HOAS. So HOAS, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is a non-profit and also the largest student housing provider in the capital region.
region. They built, rent and maintain over 10,000 student apartments just like the one being built right behind me here in the Kalasatama district. So what is really cool about Hoas is that not only are their apartments really affordable but they're also extremely well located around the capital region making commuting to the different university campuses around Helsinki extremely easy. Case in point, this new student apartment building being built here in the Kalasatama district is going to be in a central location just 200 meters from the closest metro station. So this means that if you get to live in this apartment building when it's ready, it will take you only 10 to 30 minutes to commute to any of the big university campuses around the capital region. More information about Hoas and all of their student apartments through the links in the description box below. Anyways, the next thing that you need to know about day-to-day -day life in Finland is that most grocery and convenience stores have their product labels usually only in Finnish and Swedish, Swedish being the second official language in Finland. So this might sound like a very minor detail, but it's still definitely something you should take into account when arriving to Finland. I've heard quite many interesting stories of international students going to a grocery store, you know, for the first time, and instead of buying coffee milk, they have ended up buying sour milk, yogurt or something similar because they weren't sure how to translate the labels. In fact, if you come from, say, an Asian country where daily products and the local cuisine is very much different to Finland, it will definitely take you a while to get used to the local produce and especially recognizing which product means what. So talking of food and groceries, the next thing you should take into account is that food delivery services are growing really rapidly in Finland and using services like Volt or Foodora are really popular not only for ordering takeaway from restaurants, but many of these services also do home deliveries from grocery stores, pet stores and even some clothing brands. In addition, both of the really big retail chains operating in Finland, Kesko and S Group, have excellent online stores from where you can order your groceries either as a pickup or delivered to your door. So this is actually really cool because not only does it mean that you don't have to spend huge amounts of time in grocery stores, but this also means that nowadays it's much easier to get all the required groceries, for example, for one or two weeks at a time, because instead of carrying all of them from the store back to your own place on your own, you can just have them delivered to your dorm, for example, once or twice a week. Personally, I really hate doing grocery shopping and it's the one daily chore that I really feel is really numbing and ordering home deliveries for a week or two at a time is definitely something that I personally plan to do more, especially since I just moved a bit further away from the center of Helsinki, where the stores are not as closed as, for example, here in Kalasatama. So talking of which, if you want to try getting food delivered to your place, I have a discount code for Volt in the description box below that you can use to get a discount on your first three deliveries. Anyways, the next thing that you need to know about the day-to-day -day life in Finland is that we have a ton of different holidays around the year that impact how different stores and businesses are open during the day. So these holidays, which are also generally called Pyhäpäivä in Finnish, usually mean that either businesses have shorter opening hours or they're closed entirely. Whether or not businesses stay open depends on the specific holiday. And if you are staying in Finland for a longer period of time, I really recommend that you mark these holidays in your calendar so that you don't get surprised on the way to get a bottle of wine, for example. Also, I really recommend that you prepare for some of the biggest holidays by following my previous advice on ordering food for the entire holiday weekend using some of the home delivery services that I have linked below. You can find more information on the different holidays celebrated in Finland from infofinland.fi which is also linked in the description box below. Anyways, next I recommend that you check out this video where I explain five things that you really need to avoid doing unless you want to piss off every single Finnish person that you meet. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.